Grandpa and Granny worked their whole lives. They were caring, conservative people, who always obeyed and never questioned reality. They were very religious people who did regular Bible study and went to church every Sunday. After physical death they saw images of departed loved ones and they eagerly entered the beautiful white light. They were then shocked to see, the afterlife looked very similar to the physical world. There is bars, stores, houses and buildings. They were then approached by calm, regular-looking humans known as, counselors. These counselors told them they would stay here for many years. They would also have to get jobs to pay for their housing. The astral afterlife is very similar to the physical realm and material goods must be purchased. This was incredibly distressing to grandpa and granny. They were long taught of a, heavenly rest, after physical death. Looking around at the people arguing, fighting, or even having sex in the open. They asked, where is God and the angels? Where is the incredible beauty we were always promised? The counselors responded, you are not yet worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven. You made mistakes during life and this created karmic debt that you both now owe and must balance and pay back. Question, did you dream this? Answer, I'm an expert in astral travel and have seen it and horrifying similar experiences many hundreds of times. People are free to disagree with what I am saying in these threads. Unfortunately these horrors are really happening and change must happen to create real freedom. I have put myself at incredible risk. Each night I travel into the astral afterlife and many times I have been seriously threatened and brutally assaulted during these explorations. Recently I was in the center of a modern city that I had once briefly visited about four years ago. It has cobblestone streets and strange large zodiac symbols intricately etched into the ground. I am not sure if it was just artwork or these symbols had meaning, but it gave me a very bad vibe. People were riding on high-tech silver-colored bicycles that seemed completely motorized. On the side of this intersection was a small group of deceased people and we began talking. They were very friendly. After about two minutes one of them said, they know you are here. You have to leave right now. Turning around I saw two men. Each walked to a different spot. One was about 20 feet to my right and one the same to my left. They wore strange black outfits with hats that looked Masonic to me. These men were completely expressionless and looked very focused as if they were specialists or trained in these endeavors. Both had creepy handlebar mustaches. As they started walking towards me I said, I am just exploring and minding my business. I do not want trouble. Their arms had been firmly at their sides, but then at this point they both pointed some type of weird pistol that had a large glowing ball of some sort at the front. The pistol reminded me sort of like those mini fishing rods. Those who mock and ridicule should know that I am trying to save your deceased relatives and friends from forced reincarnation. I seek nothing in return from anyone. My goal is to help bring real freedom and true love to this simulated universe. Years ago at the beginning of my afterlife exploration I began asking every person I met in the afterlife, where is Jesus Christ? Every person, and most of them told me they were fully dedicated Christians, told me sadly that Christ, never existed. These good people were emotionally crushed at finding this out. I do not enjoy ruining your fantasies and illusions. I wish it was different. Unfortunately it is the truth, Jesus Christ never existed. Question, did you help out Grampy and Granny, or did you abandon them? Did you cower in fear or horror? Did you get fired from your job as a counselor in the astral imagination? Answer, you have no idea. I wish it was imagination. Sadly this is all real and unfortunately happening. Many others highly trained in astral travel are now making the same brutal discoveries. I work constantly trying to help the deceased and save them from forced reincarnation. I am not an afterlife counselor. They are all deceased humans who work for the demonic archons and the self-declared god of this simulated universe, the satanic demiurge. And now on with the story, Grandpa said, let's check the directory and locate Pops, Uncle Fred and Aunt June. They passed away 50 years ago and must have a house we can all stay in. They later become absolutely horrified, Pops, Uncle Fred and Aunt June are gone. They were sent back already. They have been reincarnated as completely new people. The great memories they had of us now are raised. Their hugs and smiles gone. Pops, Uncle Fred and Aunt June are gone forever. The demonic archons made them reincarnate.
It is the demand from the self-declared God of this matrix, the satanic demiurge. This is not the heaven we were promised. It is a cruel, psychotic hell. To clarify, this entire universe is a virtual reality. You are in it right now. Both the physical dimension and the astral afterlife are all part of simulated universe. It is an enslaved economic and louche energy farm. The satanic global elite, the archons, and their master the satanic demiurge are the predators. You are their prey. Question, so how were they forced to reincarnate? Answer, during the afterlife period, the targeted human is mandated to attend regular sessions in which they are told about life mistakes and its creation of karmic debt. This is a 100% complete scam. Many of the counselors who lead these sessions are uneducated towards the truth of the satanic archon agenda and they are ultimately mind-controlled. These people think they are helping humans to ascend. The brutal truth is that there is absolutely no ascension. It is a fake concept made up by the satanic archons to control and enslave humanity. People around the world who do not know me, but are highly skilled at astral travel are now finding out what I have been saying for years. The afterlife is under evil satanic control and all humans are forced to reincarnate into slavery. The nightmare is really happening. Question, why now? Why are people find out about this now? Answer, this should have been widely known long ago. It is an embarrassment it took so long. Most of humanity are complete idiots who are mind controlled by sports, Hollywood or politics. Interest in astral projection and lucid dreaming have steadily increased significantly in the past few years. Those who have reached the point of becoming highly skilled started doing deep exploration. Many of these people have recently made shocking discoveries. Humans communicate worldwide on the Reddit astral projection sub. Some recently went into an area of the afterlife that has always been considered completely off-limits. To their horror they saw deceased humans strapped to tables with electrodes mounted onto their heads. This brutally psychotic process is the archons performing, memory arrays, on humans who are being prepped for reincarnation into enslavement. This is not a science fiction novel or movie. It is the crazed horror actually being forced upon all sold humans. The nightmare is real. Question, also, can people have sex in astral? How does it feel like? Do archons ever have sex too or are they all insults? Answer, sex is very heavily promoted. They want the slaves to be occupied and not questioning the archon hierarchy. Physical sensations exist in the astral body but can feel different because the astral body is much lighter than the dense physical body. You can take significant injury there and feel very serious pain but always remain, alive, in the astral body. Sex is easy to come across, but beware of deceased humans known as, charmers. These people, usually deceased males, can cloak themselves to appear female. I have seen men freak out when the, intimate partner, they are interacting with cannot hold that form and reappears as a man. Sometimes non-souled demonic beings will trick men into intimacy. These scenarios are rare though. There are always eager deceased females available. Money is exchanged for goods and services in the afterlife. Very large amounts of deceased females become strippers and or prostitutes. A very close friend of mine from college who was highly intelligent, extremely kind and clean living female has become one of these depraved people. It has been beyond heartbreaking to see what has happened to her. Question, what is the nobody, anomaly doing to fight this shit? Is he having any affect at all? Answer, you are 100% correct. You are all the nobody. You all have the eternal power hidden deep within you. You cannot wait for some savior or deity to save you. Your salvation comes from this type of advanced knowledge. You must meditate on a regular basis. Connect with your inner mind and declare yourself as a free being. Study and train yourself in astral projection and lucid dreaming. This will teach you to have full awareness and power when in the out-of-body state. Most of the recently deceased have no training. Because of this they are very confused and vulnerable during the death process. Question, you say we shouldn't go into the light, so should we turn away from the light and say, I am sovereign, repeatedly. Would that be enough to keep from going through the white light? Answer, that is a very good idea. You should be able to force yourself away from the light. At that point if you can find a hole in the frequency fence, you can use that to escape. Finding a hole may be very difficult. 
Another option would then to be force your soul, astral body towards the earth's surface. You can then remain earthbound as a ghost. This at least gives you more time to plan your next move. Any of this will take significant effort. Begin studying any training yourself in the out-of-body state. This is done through astral projection and lucid dreaming. For those who cannot regularly astral project or lucid dream with full awareness, use your imagination for training. See yourself in the sky and then forcing yourself in a chosen direction. The white light is designed to magnetically pull at the newly deceased. You will need to find the strength to stay away from it. Question, after the white light closes, then what do we do? Where do we go from there? Answer, at that point you will instantly see yourself on the surface of a place that looks just like Earth. It has buildings, houses and cars. You will then be approached by one or more deceased humans known as, counselors. The job of these people is to regularly tell the targeted human they made, life mistakes, and because of that created, karmic debt, that ultimately must be, balanced and repaid through reincarnation. Most of these counselors are complete idiots. They are mostly very good people who are now programmed from religious and new age mind control. These counselors have bought into the, earth school, and, ascension, scams. These people are actually doing horrific damage to other humans and heavily contribute to their reincarnation into enslavement. Some of the counselors know the hidden truth. These people are brutally evil and seek to move up in the Archon hierarchy. They choose to be Satanist and worship the self-declared god known as the Satanic Demiurge. The Satanic global elite in our physical dimension worship and work for the Archons and the Demiurge in exchange for power. Together they herd humanity into ongoing economic and energetic slavery. If you avoid the white light you either one, escape through a hole in the frequency fence above Earth. Or you return the Earth's surface and remain there as a ghost. When you enter the white light you will eventually be on the surface of what looks like Earth. This is actually the astral afterlife. Soul beings in North America end up in an afterlife that looks like the USA or Canada. It has cities and areas that have names not used in our dimension. It is bilingual English and French. English is spoken everywhere but French is heard very often. All areas get along. They are all completely controlled by the Archons. They are all under a brutal form of martial law. There is significantly less freedom in the afterlife than in our physical dimension. Food is eaten for pleasure but is not needed. Alcohol is very available. I have drank a beer in astral bars called King Midas Light many times. There is no warfare there. All areas are controlled by the demonic archons. There is a huge amount of deceased humans who work as law enforcement for them. These people are all over the place and they quickly and brutally pound on anyone who gets out of line or questions the Archon hierarchy. The resistance in the astral is small but growing very rapidly. The problem is the religious and new age programming on humans is enormous. Many of the deceased will attack and fight those who try to help them. They are so deeply programmed that they continue to worship the psychopaths who have enslaved them. The Archons masquerade as, Ascended Masters, Spirit Guides, and, Angels. They are all 100% evil satanic maniacs. The deceased are constantly told to not get out of line and to never question anything. Those that are quickly caught and brutally assaulted by the huge amount of law enforcement that reside there. Let me be very clear that these people are heavily programmed and mind-controlled. They think that serving as security for the Ascended Masters is a good thing and that they are helping keep the grand plan in place. It is incredibly sad to see very good people who unknowingly serve a brutally evil Archon agenda. After physical death you will constantly lied to. You will be repeatedly told you made mistakes and now owe karmic debt. Karmic debt is fake. They made it up to enslave humanity but they will emphatically and constantly tell you karma makes, energetic imprints, that create the debt. Once again this is a 100% complete bullshit. You will be told that you agreed to all of this before you were born. You will be told you completely agreed to, soul contracts, that allowed you to be abused and declared you could create karmic debt. Soul contracts are 100% complete scams. It is embarrassing that anyone would be dumb enough to agree to them. Unfortunately the layers of societal religious programming and the human weakness to never question authority put most of humanity into complete submission. 
You must understand the beings who are creating and enforcing these insane, contracts, are brutally evil psychopaths. If karmic debt was real these maniacs would owe more than all of humanity combined. Karmic debt and soul contracts are complete scams. The only purpose they serve is to get you to reincarnate into ongoing slavery. Please do this simple exercise. Look into mirror and declare, I am a sovereign being, I cancel all soul contracts, I am free. Let me be very clear. These insane soul contracts are not valid. They are based upon total lies and deception. The archons formulating these contracts are demons. After physical death you must tell them, I am a free being, I am a sovereign being, you have no authority over me, you and your agenda are all based upon lies and deception. This will be the most important thing you have ever done. You will finally be declaring yourself free and expose the archon deception. If you know open-minded people try to explain this to them. Their existence depends upon it. The worst part is the satanic oppressors have conned humanity into worshipping them. These psychotic savages actually pose as, ascended masters, spirit guides, angels, and, lords of karma. Once again, these entities are 100% pure evil. They are a million times worse than serial killers and brutal dictators. They have the audacity to pass judgment on humans that they have relentlessly terrorized and enslaved for centuries. There is a group called the, Astral Council. It is made up of these ridiculous, lords of karma, who wear huge flashy robes with absurd crowns. These degenerate parasites claim to be, ascended masters, who have been through it all and reached the position of being a deity. In actuality almost all of these sleaze bags have never even had a physical incarnation. They are synthetic matrix creations and their whole backstory is complete lies. Very few of them were briefly sadistic evil humans who had one incarnation long ago that got them on board with the satanic archon hierarchy. It is time for them to be removed from power. No soul being should be persecuted by them ever again. We are on our own. No one is coming to save us. My belief is a small group of, good guys, with advanced tech entered the simulation to collect information. The entrance point was 1561 over Nuremberg, they significantly underestimated the brutal aggression of the Archon hierarchy and became quickly engaged in battle. Most escaped but those who stayed lost, died, and then became caught in the reincarnation cycle of this simulation. These advanced humans then became weak and controlled slaves like all others in this simulated universe. If you have had strange lifelong dreams of being left behind in a strange world you may be one of them. I have been told by others highly skilled in astral travel who have been able to gain info on this, that there will not be an intervention ever again. Humans have to wake up and remove the Archon hierarchy from power. Question, even with saying, I am sovereign, I have free will, can the Archons forcibly pull you into the light or do they have to wait until you use your free will and, choose, to agree to going into the white light? Answer, they will try. The, white light, is like a machine. It automatically projects to those beginning the dying experience. Images of deceased loved ones are shown near the entrance to get the targeted human to enter. For those who resist the light is very mesmerizing and people completely focus on it like a deer with headlights. If you get too close it magnetically tries to pull you in. Upon entering and proceeding deep the light the human is the greeted by an archon who is dressed as shiny flowing robes. Those who will be sent back are shown beautiful images and harp music is played. They are shown a 100% scam life review which is basically a saved computer file about their lifetime. The person having the near-death experience will then be told it, not their time and they must go back. That person then goes back, tells others about it and sadly creates tons of advertising to enter the light. This is an evil process. People who have now actually died cannot get out. They then find themselves in the astral afterlife which looks like Earth. Those who do not enter the white light tunnel can try to find an escape hole in the frequency fence or force themselves back to the Earth's surface and become a ghost. Doing the exercises to declare yourself as a free being and as a sovereign being is a new process. It is to allow yourself to remain in the astral as yourself for as long as you choose and avoid reincarnation. The AI Matrix and the Archons are synthetic creations and cannot exist outside of the simulation. Because of this they choose to barricade and block off the simulation from the real free universe. 
If the eternal energy from the source universe was allowed to flow in that would end the predatory parasitic system we all feed upon. When reconnected to, the force, you would be able to create with the power of thought, and slaves would become superhumans. This is the greatest fear of the satanic demiurge, the AI. Matrix, 